Puerto Ricans watching this video, I apologize in advance for butchering your language. Hablo no español. Hi people, and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here, the man who produces Iron From My Eyes, doing a 5 minute review on Puya's newest album, Potencial. I have to thank Hector from Chill Dude on the Couch for introducing me to this band, as we discuss them of course on an episode of Live Listen Erased. Otherwise, I would have continued living my life, otherwise I would have continued living my life of never hearing about this awesome band from Puerto Rico, and what an interesting story they have. We will cover this a bit, but first let's talk about the music. I don't get to say this often about albums, but this record felt like an epic journey. Granted, this journey was not your Lord of the Rings trilogy kind of epic in duration, but more like the episode of South Park in regards to Make Love Not Warcraft, as I guess if you don't know the video game, then the album may as well be speaking in a different language, just like Puya does. However, just because you don't know of the game doesn't mean that the episode isn't fun to enjoy, and this is the case with Puya too. Sure, they don't sing in English, but god damn it does this music just kick ass. Now I certainly love listening to Ramstein, so I can overlook a language barrier for the sake of music. It's particularly easier given that I am also a groove junkie, and these tunes go harder than an AI generated OnlyFans count. I'm not overly familiar with the band's history, but Hector did mention that they were at the same festival in 1999, along with Black Sabbath, Slipknot, Deftones, Rob Zombie, System of a Down, and... Ugh, gobsmack. This is a massive lineup. Why can't Australia have anything like this? <laughs> Alright. We suck, that's why. Well, maybe now that the American touring visas have increased by 60%, there might be more incentive for bands like Puya to come to Australia and tour more often. Puya, you are more than welcome to come and visit the land down under. Now, this album is the first in over a decade from the band camp, and is a very, very short affair, being less than 30 minutes. And of course, I can get why fans who waited this long would be pissed. But the way I see it, this is the band focusing on better songs rather than adding too much filler or crap that would devalue the record. Excluding, I guess, the intro and outro song. Admittedly, this album has shifted a few gears from their debut record, which is all that I'm really aware of. But the brutal heaviness on Falling Illusion is a great way to kick into gear. I like the salsa and metal energy found on Machete a on Machete a Garabato, as it swings like a pendulum between funky and metal so seamlessly. This album reminds me so hard of early Soulfly. Not really Sepultura, as many would mention, and yes, I am aware, of course, of the Cavalier connection. I'm just pointing out the differences between these two bands, and the parallels, of course, to Puya. Yes, there are more traditional instruments used, but it's not as deeply rooted as that experimental sound. You get what I bloody well mean? It exists as an element of the record, and it is a very fun element. Maybe this review is a bit short, but then again, this album is a very short play. I still enjoyed it from start to finish, and even though there might be faults with it in regards to you know previous songs being used and brought in for this one, but I still found myself really enjoying the record and what it had, that overall vibe. Overall, I would give this album a score of 7.5 million chilies on the spicy scale. I had a lot of fun listening to this album. Perhaps it's a bit too presumptuous to have an intro and outro tracks for this short report, but then again, it's still a really awesome album with songs that certainly have landed into certain playlists of mine. So make sure and go listen to this record, because yeah, Puya deserve it. And of course, check out their back catalogue, because there's a lot of music on offer that is awesome as well. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, and stay notified for future music-related content, because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day, and stay spicy.